Hello, folks. Everybody knows that trying to farm for the Lux stat in Final Fantasy X is a complete and utter pain, mostly because of the fact you have to kill this fiend right here, the Earth Eater, over and over and over again. So the quicker we can kill the Earth Eater, then effectively the more luck we will be able to farm in the same amount of time. So I think we've been, you know, we've been playing about and fiddling about with this on live stream. I think we've found the fastest way here to take care of this thing. So I'm going to show you the battle and then I'm going to show you the setup process. It's going to involve Waka and his loner overdrive. If you know any of the faster methods though, please do share those in the comments. So what we need to do is first of all get rid of Tidus and Riku. So we just have Waka by himself. He has the loner overdrive set, which I will show you how to learn. So I'm going to start by opening with a quick hit because that is going to spawn a Megaton attack which is going to potentially one-shot one of our other party members. There we go. So now we only have Tidus to get rid of. And the way we do that is just escaping. You can escape with both as well. But since he's killed one for us... Okay. Occasionally you will stumble which is really annoying. So we might need to just try that again. There we go. Now you need to hit Earth Eater twice in order to knock him over. And we've hit him once with a quick hit. So what we're going to do now is spam overdrive. Build up just by tapping the triangle button with the loner overdrive. And then use that and this should knock him over. Now, ideally we want to try and perfect this. There we go. And if we can perfect this two times, then sometimes that will be enough to kill him. But if not, then three will certainly see the end of it. Unfortunately, the Earth Eater has really high defences, so you're not going to be doing max damage. Although, the more you build up Waka's luck stat, then the more crits you're going to get, which is going to make it more likely to kill him with two overdrives. And because we have Lona, we can just very quickly build up overdrive again, since Waka is the only living party member here. And we'll do this once more. There we go. Now, if this doesn't kill him, then a couple of quick hits or another overdrive should see through to the end of the fight. Obviously, this fight's gone on a little bit longer simply because of the fact that I have been talking and explaining it to you, so I've not been rushing through. But you get the general idea. You do need decent stats so that you don't take damage from the counters, the Megaton counter when it's standing up and the Flare counter when it's lying down. Uh, I'm not going to risk a quick hit in case that isn't enough, but it doesn't matter so much if we mess up the attack reels here. It is still going to get us the overkill. In fact, I messed it up on purpose. <laughs> I actually got it. It wouldn't have mattered. I thought I'd hit the miss there on purpose, but what do you know? Yeah, as you can see anyway, three overdrives from Waka is enough to kill this. And the main thing is, I mean, you're going to be using Waka's overdrive anyway, more than likely to take care of Earth Eater, but the main reason that this is such a faster method is because of that loner overdrive, okay? Otherwise, you've got to find other means of trying to build up Waka's overdrive every time you want to use it, and that's what is really going to slow down the battle. You can, of course, use T-Dust with Blitz Ace as well, just to try and speed things up, but I think this is the simplest, easiest, and quickest way to kill that fiend. So let's just go ahead here and show you the setup and then at the end I'm going to do another battle without any chatting just to show you how fast we can get through it. So yep as I mentioned we need Lona and the best way to get this in my opinion the way you get this is you have to have 100 turns for the character in battle with no other party members alive okay. So that is a bit of a farm uh, normally, but there's a little trick I'm going to teach you to get through that in about a minute. So I've just switched back to my previous live stream from a few days ago, which is where I learned the Lona Overdrive 4 Waka. And the best way to do this is to just head to the Cavern of the Stolen Faith. And the creature you are looking for is the Magic Urn. And, the, and we actually find it first time, which is awesome. Let's just skip ahead. And the reason Magic Urn is so good is because it doesn't attack or anything. So all you need to do in order to learn the overdrive itself is escape with your other two party members and with Waka alone, just spam triangle, okay? Just spam the skip turn button, whatever that is in the console that you're playing on. And that's literally all there is to it, okay? Eventually, he will learn the overdrive. Now, the reason he built up his overdrive then 
even without Lona when I was skipping turns is because there is another overdrive that would do that for you. But Lona is much, much faster. And there we go. Okay, Walker learns Lona. Okay, so back in game then. Let me just go ahead and hide me. I just want to show you the gear that Waka's using. Obviously, he has his world champion. I mean, that's just something we need. And then for armor, I've just created a piece of armor with death proof, defense plus 20%, which isn't really needed, and auto haste. But as long as you've got death proof and auto haste, then that's all you need. The reason you need death proof is because the megaton punch counter that the Earth Eater does has the instant death effect. So it's really important we guard against that. And then auto haste speaks for itself. Don't need anything else though. So it's a really easy setup. Just make sure you've got some decent stats, especially defensive stats. Defense and magic defense are really important here, along with strength, of course, so that we can do more damage. You can put auto protect on your armor as well if you feel you need that, but I really don't. I don't have break HP limit, as you can see. That is an ability that I think is overrated. In fact, I go through the entire game without using break HP limit, including defeating all the dark aeons and penance. Uh, but let's go ahead now. You've seen the setup, and I'm going to do this again, but hopefully a little bit faster without speaking, so you can see just what's possible with this loner overdrive method. So here we go, Earth Eater again. Okay, he's going to speed things up for us. I'm not going to complain. So this is the first overdrive of up to three. A nice 12 hits there, that will knock him over. Now we will be getting the flare counters and what do you know, we're ready for our second overdrive thanks to that loner. This isn't a new method by the way, I haven't invented this. But since a lot of us are playing Final Fantasy X right now, it doesn't hurt to go over these things. And it may not be the fastest way of killing Earth Eater. But it's got to be pretty close if it isn't. And if you do know a better way, then please, as I say, let me know. Because I've got a lot of, lot of kills to go before I'm done with this farming. And yeah, this one doesn't matter if we mess this up or not. As long as we get a few hits. Yeah, there we go, look. I only got four hits this time. Instead of 12. Does not matter. And there we have it. We should get our two fortune spheres for that. Unless we get dark matter. Which I don't want to see. Oh, we got dark matter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's just one of those things we have to deal with. But there we have it then, guys. That is the, I believe, fastest way to farm for the Fortune Spheres. Integral for boosting up our luck stat. One little tip I want to share with you, though. And that is, as you get these Fortune Spheres, where are they? There they are. Let me just hide my thing again. I've got 10. It's a good idea to actually spend them on the grid with Waka. Because you are actually more likely then to get critical strikes. Making two overdrives more likely, uh, you know, to be needed rather than three during the fight which every bit helps doesn't it when we're trying to save time so yeah just make sure you spend these as you earn them and the lux spheres are also a little bit annoying to get but as i say you only need to get them one time once they're on the grid they're on the grid and every party member gets to use them then but those fortune spheres are what you are going to need a lot of for this particular farm all right then guys well i hope this video helped I will be back next week with more Final Fantasy X endgame grinding. So if you want to check out the live stream, please do come and stop by. We do have a laugh on those streams. And thanks for watching. See you soon, guys. Take care.